Hey guys, it's Dawn here, and uh, today I want to take a look at this product, Farnum Grand Champion Fly Repellent Show Shine, Sh Show Ring Shine, uh, Kells and Repel Stable Flies, Horn Flies, House Flies, Face Flies, uh, all all kinds of different flies. Uh, here are the active ingredients. Um, is 0.1 percent of the pyrethrins okay and that's that's usually a main ingredient net content is 15 ounces um the pen right now is in despicable conditions um i left poop and stuff out you will never see my place this horrible but i did it on purpose so that i can show you how well this thing works um this works extremely well uh but I think that it definitely should come with a warning. So I'm going to show you how I use this and why. If you don't use this properly, you risk the chance of giving chemical burns to your horse. So it's worthwhile to pay attention. Now it's not just with this product. Any oil-based fly spray, fly repellent, um, has the potential to do this. Oil on bare skin or up against skin on sensitive thin skinned or uh, I don't know any kind of you know young or sensitive horses stuff like that uh, he's a thin skinned thoroughbred um, and then the Sun is not going to be a good thing so first off this pile of poop right here has a ton of flies on it Let me get myself situated one of the awesome things about this is you get 360 degrees of continuous spray. So, so this is how I use this product. I let the mist kind of fly and settle on his fur like that. Um, what I don't like is that in in the video, even in their instructional video, they show you pointing it directly on the horse and spraying it and then brushing it in. I don't like that. Uh, what I like is, if you can see here, you see those little oil droplets just sitting on top of his fur? That is what I'm going for. I am not, not, not with emphasis not going to spray it you know so that it is saturating his fur and touching his skin I just want the little oil droplets to be sitting on top so so what's nice is that you can just do this fine mist spray in all different directions I know, I'm just saturating this whole place with fly spray. It's nice and quiet. Okay, usually I don't use this. Usually I don't use this much, but I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to show you how it works. And then it kills the flies, and now there's no more flies in here. All right. Um, it definitely works. The, the good thing about oil based sprays is that they do last. They last longer than um than a water based the bad thing about it is with combined with the sun it could burn or if uh it's on the skin it 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 doesn't really leave well that's why it lasts but it could it, it could make it so that the skin can't breathe well uh plus it is a poison so i mean poison directly on skin um isn't exactly the best thing but you can see now some flies have been examining him and immediately they leave. They're like, we want nothing to do with this stuff. So it's great in that you're not having these huge blotches of um, wet on them, which you shouldn't have anyways. Um, uh, it's just a nice gentle mist. And I would use this very, very sparingly because of how potent it is. So, you know, maybe just um, just a quick little covering and, and that's it. Don't go crazy with this, uh, especially at first. You know, you also want to check with your horse. So, uh, the difference is if your horse is has a really, really thick, uh, thick coat, then it probably wouldn't penetrate all the way down 
to his skin, then you know you probably don't have to be so careful. Or if your horse's skin is just really tough or something like that. But um, if you have a sensitive one and it's really hot, sometimes um, some people say the humidity, if it's really humid and hot, oil-based ones can sometimes leave a really bad skin, uh, uh, skin reaction. It's a it's an allergy. It's a skin reaction. It's a chemical sensitivity. It's all kind of uh, all sorts of stuff like that. It can result in hives and uh, also skin peeling, uh, where it's just a dry skin. If that happens, then typically it's not too big a deal. the The outer skin dies off. It flakes. It you know it peels off. Um, it's like a it's pretty much uh, a mild chemical burn. Um, and then the horse is okay again. But um, yeah, if, if it's really bad, then then yeah, it could be a more severe chemical burn. So uh, definitely care needs to be used. But if you do use care with it, or if you choose to only spray things like the environment, um, then that would be a really good use for it as well. So how you're supposed to use this is basically like how you would spray on perfume. You spray it and then you walk into the mist. Um, of course, you know, the horse might not walk into the mist, but you hold it further out and watch the wind and let that carry the mist um, onto them as if they were, you know, walking into the mist. Um, the, I really don't like that they say show ring shine and that they tell you <clears throat> to spray it on thick and brush it in. Um, the brush is going to carry that oil to their skin and uh, have, and it's going to be a lot thicker on there um, and you're spraying every, I mean you're putting a thick layer over every bit of their body for this shine. Um, the show rings shine is only because it's oil. Uh, I can go to my kitchen and get olive oil right now and rub it all over him and he will have a show ring shine. Um, that doesn't mean anything. Any oil is going to give him a shine. So, so uh, yeah. Um, and then, of course, oiling them all up and then letting them stand out in the sun and they don't really understand what's going on. Um, you know, would be the same thing as if we got naked, oiled ourselves all up, and then went and sunbathed for several hours. Our skin is going to cook. So, there you go. Uh, just some thoughts on this. I love this product. But, there are certain things that, you know, I know about it, so I'm going to use it properly. And, um, and with care, so that it doesn't burn my horse, who um, will absolutely burn if I use this as directed. Alright, so there you go. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.